Hi there, Dr. Craig from Elevate Chiropractic. One of the questions I've been asked a lot recently is should I wear a back brace or, or back support uh, if I'm doing heavy lifting or, or if I'm at work? Well, in today's video, I'm going to discuss why that may not be the best idea for you, but also um, some guidelines that you can follow if you are going to be wearing one. So stay tuned. So a question I'm asked all the time is, is should I wear a back brace or not, or are they a good idea? And what the research shows is, is that it may not be the best idea to wear, or at least rely on, um, as a way of protecting your back. So what the research shows is this. Firstly, there's weak evidence to suggest that those that are already injured will benefit from wearing a belt um, that will help them prevent reoccurrence. So just because you wear a belt doesn't mean it's necessarily going to fix you. Um, those that aren't injured, there is no evidence to suggest that, uh, that a belt's going to protect them from getting an injury. And in fact, wearing a belt can actually make the injury worse if you were to get one. And the main reason for that is that um, belts can give us a false sense of security. And that uh, we are now um, protected um, because we have this belt on. And one study found that people are willing to wear um, or are willing to lift 19% more weight because they have a belt on than if they weren't wearing a belt. And this can obviously lead to um, more significant injuries. And finally, uh, there's been some research that shows that there is a cardiovascular change that can, that can occur uh, if we are wearing a tight belt around our, our abdomen, uh, can change things like blood pressure and so forth. So all of this type of research suggests that a back brace may not be the best thing to wear. Uh, but if you are to wear one, um, let's look at some guidelines that we um, should be able to follow to help um, protect ourselves and, and get the best use of that. If you are going to be wearing a brace, uh, Professor Stuart McGill, one of the leading researchers on lower back disorders and injury, has come up with four guidelines to follow um, based on the research that's come out about wearing a back brace. Firstly, uh, because of the chances of an increased blood pressure or heart rate, you want to make sure that you get, get assessed by a, a health professional if you, are, um, if you do have any of these, these sort of issues. Secondly, um, based on the fact that wearing a back brace can give you a false sense of security, you want to make sure that your lifting mechanics is really good to help reduce the risk of injury. Um, thirdly, we want to make sure that your workstation ergonomics is set up properly so that we're less likely to have any injuries by re reaching or twisting. And in fact, sometimes if you set things up properly, you can re um, sort of reduce the load on your lower back so you may not actually even need to wear a, a back brace. And fourthly, which I think is the most important one, is wearing a, a back brace sh should not be a long-term option and it should be used as part of a program which will help wean you off wearing that, that, that the um, brace. And this will include things like core control, lifting mechanics, workstation ergonomics, all those types of things which will help um, protect your own back and use your own muscles to protect your back. So those are the, the four guidelines to follow if you are going to be wearing a back brace or if you want to wear one. Um, if, if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer those for you. But otherwise, put this information into use. Um, there's, there's one thing for sure is that your body will thank you for it.